hello youtube family uh it's good to be back i know it's been a minute i haven't posted here in about two years if this is your first time seeing this face my name is winifred and thank you for tuning in just diving in into the reason for this video a lot has happened to me and for me in the past over two years i'm living in a space where i didn't think was ever possible and i'm experiencing a new version of myself that i didn't think was even possible and that's all thanks and to the glory of god so the experience that led me to this place where i'm currently at right now that catalyst was deep emotional pain so it was basically you know me doing what everyone else expected of me or not for me not being there for my own self so i had a lot of suppressed opinions i suppressed my own self you know and showing up in spaces showing up in life generally and something happened where i had to question a lot of the decisions i'd made in the past so having experienced that level of pain i had a lot of resentment a lot of bitterness a lot of vengeance a lot of disdain inside of me and unforgiveness as well and it was so intense that i knew that if i continued the way i was and not gave all of that to god i was gonna hurt even more people and i realized the saying the depth of the saying hurt people hurt people because because I didn't want a situation where people came across me and it was they were going to experience pain from having encountered me. And I knew all of that weight and those baggage I had in my soul from that heart would impact the way I worked with God. And after experiencing that pain, I remember, you know, telling God to go sit in his corner while I sit in my corner because how could he have known that i would have gone through all of that and still allowed me walk into that situation like how could you have known and yet you saw me you were aware i know you are aware of all things and you know, i told god you know you go sit in your corner while i sit on this side let's you know you figure out your own self i figure out my own self <laughs> but of course that didn't last long because i knew I could never succeed at anything. I could never heal without God, without his help, without his love. So I was in that phase for about a few days and I ran back to God <laughs> because I also realized that situation that happened to me, I had a role to also play in that, you know. Um, those were decisions I made. And as much as it was painful, those were my decisions now i will not blame that on anyone else just you know praying to god to take all of that pain you know take all of that baggage because it was so uncomfortable and i knew that experience was looking to contaminate my heart and where my heart was contaminated there is no way i would have been a vessel in god's hands there is no way i would have been there's no way I would have, my heart would allow itself to be led by God, having all of those baggage. And I realized in the midst of not me crying to God to take all of those baggage, all of those heaviness from my heart, God was leading me slowly but surely into realization of who he created me to be. Because I started questioning a lot of things about my life, about my journey. Like, who was I really? If I wasn't listening to what anyone else expected of me, what do I expect of myself? What do I want for myself? Like, what really makes me happy? Well, who is Winifred? What truly makes Winifred happy? And as I started to ask those questions, I started to make decisions that were good for me and this were all inspired by the Holy Spirit and I have experienced the peace of Christ that really makes no sense I can try to describe that peace to you and tell you it's like 
the dawning of a new day is like you know light at the end of a tunnel but words are still not enough to describe the peace i now have because this peace came with daily seeking god daily seeking who he created me to be i have shown up in spaces that i i look back and i can't believe this is me <laughs> I can't believe this is me making this kind of big decisions. This is me walking in rooms. This is me inspiring and leading people. And that only came from that trigger, from that pain. And now I'm at the point where I'm thankful to God for that experience. Because if not, I won't have come to the realization of this version of me. And the book of Jeremiah said that, before I was formed in my mother's womb, he knew me. Before I was conceived, he knew me. God knew all of my path. And my prayer lately has been, God, let me live in that purpose you have created me to be. And let me experience the abundant life that Jesus Christ talked about, that his resurrection gives me. That he came that I will have life and have it in abundance. And I also realized that even the decisions we make that somehow ultimately should have hurt us, somehow God fashions it and uses it to bring us closer to him, to bring us closer to our work with him, to bring us closer to the people he created us to be. And there is... I realize also the devil never has the full picture, even when he throws challenges our way. Look at Job. If you read Job chapter 2, how even when God recommended Job to Satan, <laughs> I wonder if Satan had known what the outcome would have been at the end if he would still have bothered himself. And you may be going through a moment where you know, you're at a point where you're questioning the goodness of God, where you're questioning why God? Why did you see me make these decisions? Why did you see me walk this path and you didn't yank me out? And it could be he tried, but you know, we have free will and we just kept working because as as at that point that was that decision was good in our own eyes. And if this is you going through a moment of you know intense and immense pain and discomfort and crushing. I want to tell you that God is with you in it. That you come out of it thanking God for that experience. That woof, if I didn't go through all of that, I wouldn't have experienced this joy, this peace that I've never known before. God is working with you through that. Even Psalm 23 says that even when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that He is with us. We are His sheep and He's our good shepherd. I was researching and trying to Google what, what defense does a sheep have? We know what defense a lion has. We know what defense a tiger has. But apparently, sheep are animal, um, animals of prey. Like they are preyed upon. So their defense is to run. <laughs> is to flee. And I'm like, as children of God, as those, as the sheep that have been led by Christ, he is our shepherd. He has, in him we have all that we need. Even in the eyes of the world when it feels like something bad is happening. God has a plan. So I want to encourage you that God is with you. However you want to communicate with God, but hold on to him. If you have billions and billions of questions, feel free. Be vulnerable with him. Yell, scream. You can even be like me that told him to go sit in his corner while I sit in my own corner. But also knowing that in, a, in the deepest, deepest place of pain, it's only God that can bring us out of it. But walk this walk with God. Walk it with God. He has a plan, a bigger plan, which you may not see now. And I hope you walk through this journey to the end and then be able to share your own testimony of how God 
transform your life and how you saw the hand of God. Because Revelation 12 verse 11 said that we have defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by our testimony and defeated him that is the accuser of the brethren. We defeat him when we testify of God's goodness that indeed God is realer than, than our own existence. Job said that he has heard before about God but now he has seen with his own eyes and that has been my testimony. I have experienced the God that pampers me. I've seen God and no one can tell me that there is no God. Before we end this session, let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for a moment as this in my life and thank you for the opportunity to be able to share my own testimony. Lord God, I pray for your children who are going through their own moments of crushing in any form. That Lord God, you will walk with them. That you will hold their hands and you will show yourself present with them in this moment. That you will be their anchor. You will hold them in your warm embrace. And you reveal yourself to them as their good shepherd, as the one who has redeemed them, as the one who calls them by name. The Lord God, they too, will come into the realization, into the experience, into the knowledge of who you created them to be. And they too will share in giving glory unto your holy name. And their own testimonies in turn we encourage others in Jesus name amen so family please feel free to share your own testimonies in the chat in the comment section and if you're also going through your moment of crushing please also share your story this will also encourage someone else that they are not alone in it and please like and um, share with those who will be encouraged as well thank you everyone and um God bless you.